Have you ever wondered whether or not solar is worth it? Well, stick around and I have some enlightening things to talk about today. Hey, my name is Eric and if you're new to my channel, I'm a real estate agent here in the Las Vegas area. Every week I put out new content to help you in your home buying and home selling decisions. And if you have a chance and you feel the content that I provided to you is worthwhile, I would appreciate you hitting that subscribe button below. And on top of that, if you have any questions, call me, email me, text me, and I am more than glad to help you out, especially in your home buying and home selling decisions. So here's what I wanted to talk about today. I've talked about this many times if you've been to my channel, solar power. I am not against solar power. I want to make that blatantly clear up front. What I am against is wasting people's time and scamming them. So I've told you many tales of woe, and I just finished wrapping up two separate transactions that involve solar. It is an absolute nightmare dealing with these things. These solar people come around and they tell you the same thing over and over again. Oh, it's going to increase the value of your home. Everybody wants it. They're, you're going to sell your home faster. It's going to, this is what I love. It's going to increase the value of your home by 13%. Want me to tell you something? Of the two that I'm wrapping up, one I represented the seller, one I represented the buyer. The one where I represented the seller, we got exactly what the last house sold for. Remember, we were in a crazy market when the offer was made. So everybody wants it, right? And the one where I represented the buyer, the house was on the market for a little bit of extra time. Now, each one was a different situation. The one where I represented the seller, it was what's known as a PPA. That's the one where you pay a fixed amount per month, per uh, kilowatt hour of for the electricity that's generated by the solar panels. The other one, where I represented the buyer, it was owned solar. Yet there was a 20 year payment on it at 4.99%. Uh, well, you've got to jump through a lot of hoops when you deal with solar. And it's either on the buy side and the sell side. First of all, the buyer has to qualify either for the PPA or to take over the lease payments. Now, this is what really drove this. The one with the PPA where I represent the seller, you know, it was a little more difficult. We didn't get a whole bunch of offers like I've gotten used to. But, and the solar company wasn't really that bad. But the one where I represented the buyer, oh, uh, I'm sure you can tell by my exasperation how bad it was. First of all, there were fees that just kept popping up that we wouldn't know about. Now, when we started this, we wanted to find out how much the transfer fee was. By the way, um, you gotta pay a transfer fee. We were told over $790. Okay, fine, buyer was fine with that. Now, we're you know, coming up to signing. We're signing any moment now and the solar company informs everyone that there's another $5,500 due right now. Oh, no. Did you hear me? $5,500. As we try to trace this down, it's because the seller took uh, solar incentives, you know, the tax incentives uh, when they bought the solar. And now it becomes an argument where the seller is trying to get the buyer to pay for the recoupment of their tax break. And the other agent had the audacity to say it was to the benefit of the buyer to pay for the recoupment of the seller's tax break. Well, anyway, I shut that BS down. It shows what you're going through when you're dealing with all these solar issues. But you see, that wasn't all. Oh, no, 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 no. On that one where I'm representing the buyer, we had some roof issues. By the way, this is the second time in the last two months 
I've dealt with solar with roof issues. One is a listing I'm hoping to take in the future, but there are some roof issues and the solar company uh, doesn't cover the roof, although most do, this one did not. And for them to fix the roof, the solar company wants $5,500 to remove the solar and put it back. Now in this one here, where I'm representing the buyer, the uh, warranty for the watertight seal uh, has expired. It was only three years and it's leaking from the solar. So we had a lot of back and forth with the other agent and the other party uh, trying to resolve things because the roof needed to be fixed and there was that nagging little solar thing where it had to be removed and replaced. And the solar contractor, uh, I almost want to get into this and name names. <sighs> but I got to get my ducks in a row. You see, I'm a little angry. So the uh, solar contractor, once we finally found out who they were, that was like pulling teeth because, you know, it's financed and finance company wouldn't tell you who they financed through and all this stuff. That was really complicated. So then I get the person's number, then I start calling them every day. No answers. Leave a message. Never call back. After several days of this, I'm talking to the other agents like, well, I can't get a hold of the solar to get this stuff figured out. So the seller calls it up. Of course, there's no answer. Leaves a message. Hey, I just bought a house. Uh, I lived on XYZ Street. And I am you know, really want to get solar for this new house. Oh, my God. Within five minutes, they called back. If you believed in your product so much, when you send these salespeople around, telling people all of these lies about it's going to increase the value and all this and I got your back. Don't you have people's back? Oh, no, they don't. As soon as they have your money, they're gone, especially these smaller solar contractors. Now, what's interesting is um, we went to the seller's new house and the contractor shows up all smiles, well, they ready to, uh, you know, do some new work. And the seller's like, I want to get this resolved at the old house. You know, are you going to resolve that before we start talking about the solar here? Guy made promises after promises, gathered my information, and he was going to get with me. He never got with me. Some of these people are nice. I actually have a guy uh, who retired a little bit after me from up at the base. He's selling solar now. He loves it. He believes in it cool. Not going to mention the company. But by, by the way, the one where I represent the seller is actually this company. These little small fly-by-night places coming around your house talking about solar, they're not going to be there. The solar ha panels had a 25-year warranty. If this guy won't answer the phone, do you really believe if the solar stops working next month, uh, you think he's going to really come around? Oh, by the way, couldn't even give me a straight answer uh, you know, when I went, what happens if you won't cover it or anything because the solar has to be removed to put the, you know, to fix the roof and everything. The price was going to be anywhere between 3000 and 5500 To just take the solar off so the roof can be repaired and put it back on for the solar that has 16 years of a lease left on it. No, he got his money. He ran away. So this is what I want to talk to you about, Solar. <sighs> so many people in this valley are being screwed over daily, constantly, by the slickest salespeople I've ever seen. I remember a little bit ago, uh, probably about two and a half years ago, it was before the pandemic, and I was in a certain store, uh, and they had, you know, the solar people who are standing there, you know, trying to get you to buy solar, and this guy approaches me, and he goes, well, have you thought about solar, sir? And I'm like, no, uh, solar is a waste of time, first of all, 
uh, you'll have a hard time selling your house. He's got, oh, no, no, no. You're going to have an easier time selling your house. On top of that, it's going to increase your uh, value of your house by 13%. They love to use that one. And I'm like, no, nah, uh, it's exactly the opposite. It's going to make it much harder to sell your house. And there's a lot of red tape everyone has to go through. And he looks at me and goes, who told you this? Some realtor? He did it just like that. I was wearing a jacket. As you can see, I wear this little Air Force thing with my Keller Williams on it. I pull my jacket back like this. Now, he saw the Air Force and the Keller Williams, so he knew who I was. And he goes, thank you for your service, sir. And shut the hell up. Because he knew I wasn't falling for the okie doke. Some realtor told you that it's going to make your house harder to sell. I've had uh, two sales where it was not hard to sell. And they were both this year with solar. And by the way, they were 100%, 100% owned solar. No lease on the solar, no payments on the solar, none of that. They went easy, sold quickly. But see, here's the thing. Nobody collected a single penny more because of the solar. Owned solar, $50,000 with backup batteries and all this stuff. Do the math. They never really do the math with, you know, they, they do like a, a car sales where they play the four square so they can steal your trade in. Just do the math. I'm going to have you do the math. How much do you have to pay for electricity? Hmm? How much? Multiply that times 12. Now, the average lifespan on solar panels right now is about 20 years. They get less efficient every year. Let's pretend that they have their full 20. You can get 25 out of whatever. Multiply the amount that you have to spend per month in your house. Let's just pretend it's $250. So at $250, you're spending $3,000 a year in electricity. We're not even going to uh, account for the $15 you still have to pay in the energy. So you've spent $50,000 for this solar even after some kind of an incentive, let's say it's $40,000, 40000 So even yeah, after some kind of tax breaks and incentives and everything, if it were 40000 it would take you 13 years to break even from buying that solar right now. One day, the technology will be there where it's kind of worth it. 13 years? To break even. Last time I checked, if I got to pay $50,000 up front, there's this thing called time value of money. And I can take this money and put it into the stock market. Yeah, I know it's gone down and everything. But I get something from that. Okay? So here's another warning for you. As soon as you buy a house, multiple people are going to show up, <laughs> including the solar people. Uh, don't fall for the okie doke. And I hope you found this uh, video very useful for you. I know I get a little deep into uh, some subjects. I get a little passionate, especially when I see people being screwed over. Uh, like I said, if you found this video useful uh, and you'd like to know more, my information is below. Go ahead and call me, email me, text me especially if you need some help with your home buying needs or your home selling needs, I'm here for you. Uh, also, I've got some more videos that go deep into stuff that's going on here in Las Vegas.